Okay guys, so welcome back to eCraft Geeks. In previous video of FET, we have learned that there are two types of FET, JFET and MOSFET. So let's learn some basics about JFET, Junction Field Effect Transistor. Consists of a section of a silicon whose conductance is controlled by the electric field. The section of the silicon through which the current flows is called the channel and it consists of either N type or P type silicon. The connection at the either end of the device are known as the source and the drain. The electric field to control the current is applied to a third electrode known as gate. Let's learn about the operation of JFET. In FET, voltages appearing on the gate control the operations of the devices, making it a voltage control device. Both N channel and P channel devices operate in similar ways. Although the charge carriers are inverted, that is, electrons in one and holes in other, N channel is always preferred as it has electrons as majority carriers which in turn results in more current. The thickness of this layer varies in accordance with the magnitude of the reverse bias on the junction. In other words, when there is a small reverse bias, the depletion layer only extends a small way into the channel and there is a large area to conduct current. When a large negative bias is applied on the gate, the depletion layer increases extending further into the channel reducing their area over which the current can be conducted. With increasing bias, the depletion layer will eventually increase to the degree that it extends right across the channel and the channel is said to be cut off. Junction FET JFET working below saturation assuming an N-type channel where a current flows in the channel with the situation becomes slightly different. With no voltage at the gate, Electrons in the channel will be attracted by the positive potential on the drain and will flow towards its enabling a current to flow within the device and hence within the external circuit. The magnitude of the current is dependent upon a number of factors included the cross-sectional area of the channel, its length and conductivity and the voltage applied. Let's learn about the application of the JFET in the practical circuit. JFETs are used in a lot of electronic circuits. They offer a number of distinct advantages that can be put to use in many circuits. Simple biasing, high input impedance and low noise. MOSFET The another type of FET Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor or MOSFET is a form of FET that offers an exceedingly high input impedance. The gate input has an oxide layer insulating it from the channel and as a result its input resistance is very many mega ohms. The MOSFET has a number of different characteristics compared to the junction FET. And as a result, it can be used in a number of different areas and it is able to provide excellent performance. One particular area where MOSFET technology is used within CMOS logic integrated circuit. The extraordinarily high input impedance means that these circuits are able to consume very low power levels and this means the high level of integration can be achieved. MOSFET symbol There are several MOSFET circuit symbols that are used. Some MOSFET symbols are equivalent of each other while others indicate more details about the MOSFET itself. As there are several varieties of MOSFET, the symbol used to indicate them need to be different. MOSFET symbol for AND channel and MOSFET symbol for P channel. MOSFET symbol are used above generally indicates that the device has bulky substrate. 
This is indicated by a arrow on the central area of the substrate. MOSFET Basics The MOSFET provides some key features for the circuit designer in terms of their overall performance. Let's learn about the gate construction. Gate is physically insulated from the channel by an oxide layer. Voltage applied to the gate control the conductivity of the channel as a result of the electric field induced capacitively across the insulating dielectric layer. N-channel or P-channel Both N-channel and P-channel variants are available in MOSFET. Enhancement and Depletion both enhancement and depletion types are available as the name suggests the depletion mode MOSFET acts by the depletion or by removing the current carriers from the channel whereas the enhancement type increases the number of the carriers according to the gate voltage. These are the main two types of MOSFET N channel and P channel. Each have different features. Let's compare them. In N channel, the source drain material is of N type while in P channel or is of P type. The material used for channel in N channel is of P type while in P channel the material used for the channel is of N type. The threshold voltage is negative for the N channel while it is doping dependent in P channel. Substrate material used for N channel is of P type while in the P channel it is same as the N channel that is of P type. The inversion layer or carrier electrons are used for N channel while for P channel the holes are used. Like other forms of FET, the current flowing in the channel of the MOSFET is controlled by the voltage present on the gate. As such, MOSFETs are widely used in applications such as switches and also amplifiers. They are also able to consume very low level of current and as a result they are widely used in the microprocessors, logic integrated circuits and the like. Also like other forms of FET the MOSFET is available in a depletion mode and enhancement mode variants. The enhancement mode is what may be termed as normally off that is when the VGS gate source voltage is zero and is required for the gate voltage to turn it on. Whereas the other form depletion mode devices are normally on when VGS is zero. Let's learn about the regions in which the MOSFETs are operated. Cutoff region. In this region the MOSFET is in the non-conducting state that is turned off channel current IDS is equal to zero. The gate voltage VGS is less than the threshold voltage required for the conduction. Linear region. In this linear region, the channel is conducting and controlled by the gate voltage. For the MOSFET to be in the state, the VGS must be greater than the threshold voltage and also the voltage across the channel. VDS must be greater than VGS. Saturation region. In this region, the MOSFET is turned hard on. The voltage drop for the MOSFET is typically lower than that of the bipolar transistor and as a result power MOSFETs are widely used for the switching large currents.